Yes, greeting once again. Uh, this is uh, Ras Malaku Selassie with the organization of him. And uh, we're continuing with this uh, video from the first video, uh, uh, which we talk about the uh, etymology of epistemology. Basically, we're sharing learning. Uh, we're rooted in knowledge and the objective of uh, our sharing learning is to uh, stand up. Um, our objective is to stand stand up which is uh, social transformation advancing national dignity which is the universal plan Right? So we're saying um, we're caught in a world environment um, today um, which operates on mass media, which operate uh, an effective program of deceptive propaganda. Um, you look around you and you can see all different types of issues. And we presented this book from the first video social problems a canadian perspective but we're seeing it from a african perspective we're looking through the lens of africa and uh, the craft of research is uh, the fundamental art of looking of seeking so we're seeing that uh the eye right which is composed of uh, mind, body, and soul. It's a uh, three in one and one in three that creates the self, right? The self to be respected, right? Within the self, there is a soul, right? The soul is the supreme, omnipotent, universal love, law, right? It's the law. Right, the knowledge of the universal law, right? The one law that governs the universe, which gives man order, right? So we're seeing that the I, which is the individual, the man, male, female, right, has to go through a three step process to be able to go down to the soul, to go into the soul, to be able to look into the soul, to discover that universal love, the law, right? So the, the triune power, which is the trinity, right? Mind, body, and soul, right? The individual, the indivisible man, uh, male, female, right? Has to go through uh, a mental a mental growth a mental development just like how the baby goes through a physical development the man I has to go through a mental development right which um, determines the health and strength of the individual Right in today's world, it's a three step process. Which is um, the first one is to recognize, right? Recognize um, where the individual, where the self is today, 
right? Second is to inquire, right, into the environment, into the self, right? And then to evaluate, right? It's, it's a three-step process all around the, uh, the triune individual mind, body, and soul, right? This is this is simultaneously simultaneously um, gathering wisdom, knowledge, understanding by looking into the soul, the self to be respected, right? The energy, the intelligent energy that's within the individual. This is all coming from the first video, so if anyone didn't get a chance to see the first video, please view it. We're going into more detail now, which is a three-step uh, process. It's, it's a never-ending uh, mental process for the individual to go through self-recognition, self-inquiry, self-evaluation, right? This automatically gives... Um, power over self right where do we look into where do we where how do we recognize you know where do we inquire you know it's the root the root of self is in the word is in the word sound power right the creation of self is in the word the word is the language Right? So we have to look into the language to go deeper to the root of the language, right? To be able to discover what's what's the soul. What is the soul? Is to look into the root of the language, whatever language it is, to find that pure meaning of the word, that pure spiritual meaning of the word, right? To be able to um stand up right to be able to stand up so this is how we're talking about the etymology of epistemology is to go to the root of the knowledge of the word to find that pure meaning of the language the language right because the individual i right the i which is mind body and soul indivisible right does not exist without the word it's all in the word where creation and uh, destruction happens right so any environment that takes away uh, learning from the individual right it's causing the individual to be disabled so first the individual must go through self-recognition self-recognition right. this is this is adding value right immediately immediately adding value right to be able to recognize To be able to recognize the environment is adding value to self, right? The self to be respected, right? Is to recognize self, right? Recognize the composition of self. That self is mind, body, and soul, indivisible. The growth of the body depends on the growth of the mind, Depends on the growth of the soul. Depends on the growth of the mind. Depends on both. So they're all interlinked, right? Mind, body, and soul has to grow, right? It's the it's the self, right? Which is the uh, reflection, reflection of that energy, that intelligent energy, the the, the power of knowing. Right, the all knowing power, the power of gaining knowledge is within the eye, right? Is within the intelligent 
G-force, right? So the individual must first carry out the work of self-recognition, right? Which is adding value. So this is this is economics, right? This is economics. And some may call it microeconomics. Because it's the individual that gives value to the self, right? It's the individual that gives value to the inner self, right? To the soul, the, the unseen energy. It's the individual who also gives value to the material aspect of the body, right? The material aspect of this world. It's, it's man who conveys value, right? Through recognition. By recognizing that a thing is worth having, is worth possessing, that means you're giving, it, giving value to it. So by recognizing that the self is to be respected, to have some form of worth, some form of praise, some form of honor. You're automatically giving value to it. And this is how we achieve standing up. By first recognizing the value of the self to be respected. Right? Through knowledge. Right? Through knowledge of the language. Returning to that pure language. Knowing where you are to be able to stand up. This is this is the strength, right? This is the strength of the mind, body, and soul, the power of the the Trinity, right? Some some may call it Trinity, some may deny that it's not the Trinity, but the man, generally speaking, the individual I has the power, the capability or the potential to know. To know what love is, to know what law is, and to apply the law, right? So the second step we're talking about is to inquire, which is a self-inquisition. Is to look into the thing, is to, is to seek, seek. Seek order, right? Seek law to value self principle. The self to be respected must operate, right? Must operate under order, law, principle, right? This is the whole value of the self to be respected, is to, is to first recognize what the self is, the potential of, of the self, of the I, of the soul, and then to self-inquire, right, into action, action and conduct, right? right and wrong good and evil the third step is to evaluate right which is evaluate self or self evaluation is to is the decision making right making judgments on conduct right Is to, is to become that great decision maker rooted in the language, rooted in knowledge, right? Rooted in knowledge of self, right? To know that the energy, the intelligent force in the self, the potential to know, right? This is the I. The I is the word made flesh, right? The, the ability to know things, to know to know all things, right? 
the knowing of the eye is impossible that, that knower that knower becomes the thing that's known that knower becomes the thing that known it's the it's the law of of the soul the law of nature is that the knower becomes the thing that's known rooted in the knowledge wisdom knowledge and understanding right the eye becomes that flesh that applies wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the thing that's known. Right? The, 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 the knower begin as a baby, right? As a baby, the baby knows nothing, it's just a baby. But what do you want to be when you grow up? You want to be that knower, that knower of things, that supreme, omnipotent, universal love, right? Rooted in self right the mind body and soul the three in one and one in three that indivisible that indi individual all that individual individual who is indivisible so the purpose and the whole objective of the i is to Unite mind, body, and soul via the three-step process. It's it's to achieve that self to be respected, right? It's to recognize the worth of the self, which is economics, assigning value to self, right? Through knowledge, right? Through knowledge, through the potential to recognize, inquire, evaluate, and become that knower of all things, become that that supreme, omnipotent, universal love that applies judgment, righteous judgment out of love, law, out of principle and order. This is the way the I, the individual, through looking through the perspective of Africans, socially transform the nation by applying self-worth, applying dignity to the nation by sharing learning right there is no other way there there the only way is become aware it's an awareness of self to be respected by assigning value right assigning value through through recognition inquisition evaluation right through seeking order, right? Manifesting conduct, judgment, decision making, right? Through the language, through the root of the language, right? Root of the language. This is the way we ascend. This is the way the soul ascend, right? Or rise up to the top, to the highest, to the highest level, right, which is the heavens, by going down, you simultaneously rise up, by going through that, that word, sound, power, it's a never-ending process, right, it's a lifelong learning, by going through that word, sound, power, through recognition, inquiry, and evaluation, Right, and the the flow of the currency never stop. You see that that whole that complete body that complete soul, right, goes round and round through word sound power. Right. So the individual has a responsibility to self. Right, first has a responsibility to recognize what self is 